Greetings, LaCroix family. It's been a while since we've spoken about the pandemic and how we as a church are attempting to navigate these challenging times. It is so good to see hopeful signs all around and light on the horizon. Perhaps we are witnessing the beginning of the end of this long nightmare. It was one year ago this week that churches all around the country stopped gathering in person for worship. It had been over a hundred years since the churches of America went through something like this. Looking back, how little we knew and how many questions we had last spring. Along the way, we tried to make the best decisions with the information that we had at the time. We don't know what we don't know, but I can tell you this, I and other church leaders have never spent more time seeking God and His will for our church. We have desired to allow the great commandment to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves, to guide us in all that we've done. And that remains our desire. Cases of COVID-19 have dropped dramatically in our county. Hospitalizations have not been this low since early last summer. The positivity rate has continued to fall. For all of this, we rejoice and give God thanks. As you may know, the Cape Girardeau County Public Health Department changed their order around face masks from required to strongly recommended. From the beginning, our posture has been to honor and follow local leadership and the guidance of the CDC and state of Missouri. So in keeping with this commitment, we also are changing our face mask policy at LaCroix from required to strongly recommended. Church staff will continue to wear masks for the time being. In the rainforest and student ministries, we will continue to be in sync with the Cape Girardeau and Jackson school districts in requiring masks for children kindergarten and up, including volunteers. If the local school boards change those policies, we will follow suit. I would add that the pandemic is not over. While we can all feel good about the direction things are heading, if we're not vigilant, there could be another surge. Let's continue to pray and let's do all we can to keep this from happening. For those most vulnerable and those uncomfortable venturing out still, I strongly encourage worship online. It has been a godsend, even though it does not and cannot replace the power of being together. My hope is that it's soon a non-issue for everyone. It brings my heart great joy as I see more and more LaCroixians returning to worship in person. Each week it's like a family reunion as I see people I've not seen in a year. As your pastor, it does my heart good to see your faces. I love you and my strong desire is to honor the Lord in all that I do and to serve you well. As we go through the final weeks of Lent, may God's grace be poured out upon us as we journey to the cross and may Easter joy fill our lives with hope. In the name of Jesus, amen.